So one of the things I love to do when looking for inspiration is have a look at some really creative websites. So there's a couple here that we can use, um, Behance, which is definitely my favorite. And then there's another one called Figma, which has kind of a dual purpose. It's a design um, system, so you can kind of use it to create storyboards and all that kind of stuff. But it also has a good community where um, people can actually do these designs, they make them available, either chargeable or free, and then you can use those in your own projects. Um, we can have a quick look at Figma, um, but I'm not going to spend too much time on it because I really want to be where um, where my heart is, and that's where I've Behance. But Figma is great. Um, go to Figma.com. You can do a search on here for like YouTube app because that's what we're looking for. I'm going to do a quick search, and as you can see here, there's um, various designs that sort of come back. So once the design is loaded, you can then sort of click on click on them, and it will sort of load up for us, and we can then have a closer look. So you can have a look at the design and you can then sort of sort of zoom in and sort of uh, have a look around and all that kind of stuff sort of loading as a as a sort of moving around so it gives you um you know a bit of a playground really where you can actually look and some of these um are uh, completely available to you um in fact quite a few are in the community are actually free so you can actually download and you can experiment you can play and you can change them and uh, uh and and definitely use this tool if you're looking to kind of storyboard something um sort of you know trying to put your ideas into a design this is definitely a good site to use and of course it's free to use as well so um for sort of small number of projects so definitely worth having a look at that we're going to flick back over to behind because that's where I love to be. Behance, a fantastic resource. There's some beautiful designs here that's been created by some very talented individuals. It's a great shop front for their work. Um, but there's lots of variety of different projects up on here and um, one of them is mobile apps so we can we're looking for YouTube right so we can just um, type in YouTube app let's see what kind of comes up. So we can sort of scroll down here and we can kind of see some designs that some um, other people have done. We can have a closer look at a few of them. We can click on this one, for example. So this is a design that somebody's come up with um, to, to, to sort of reinvent YouTube. So different examples there. Let's move on to maybe a few more. What have we got down here? What's this music? We've got a, a redesign, a concept here. So this is quite a nice looking sort of mobile application, a really nice and very clean design. What else have we got here? So very, very music orientated, not really what we're looking for in our project, but um, certainly there are some good elements of that design. What else have we got here? In fact, we'll just saw one up here actually. What's this one? YouTube app redesign. Let's have a look at this one here. Okay. All right, this is a little bit more like it. So um, this seems to have a lot of characteristics to the kind of application that we're looking to build. So on the left-hand side here, this looks like it's a kind of a home screen. It kind of has some thumbnails down there. Uh, that's pretty good. It's got some it's an avatar. It's got the search icon. We, we know we need, we're going to need to search YouTube. So this, that's definitely a good uh, good option for us. Um, I like I like the color of it. It's a nice sort of bright, um, aesthetically pleasing application. Uh, duration, uh, yeah. So clearly, you can click on the thumbnail here, and then it takes you through then to this particular screen here, which is the kind of the video sort of playback screen. It's got a full title. Yeah, on the left hand side, they seem to have kind of provided a, a very a kind of a much more truncated title. Uh, I assume they've done that in the design to kind of keep it quite simplified on on the home screen. But certainly, when you do navigate actually into the video, it's got like a bigger preview. It's got some further details there um, of the the video itself. Um, it's got some other options here. We're not really going to be using or want to use any of these type of features because we're not trying to recreate YouTube here or try to provide any interaction with YouTube. We just want to kind of view and, and do searches of videos and stuff. Um, down here, this is quite quite good as well because um, this particular section here is um, is, is showing kind of uh, maybe on a playlist it's showing a number of upcoming videos but in, in my thinking um, in what I wanted is that when you actually click through to the to view the video then we'll see some more content by that particular author so this would work quite well for us we've got like a full title details that we can we can do something with there I'm sure 
So this is looking pretty close. I mean, we're not going to be using a, a, a kind of navigation bar in our kind of um, our example, but um, there's some good elements here that I think we can take through to to the way that we would want to present our application. So um, so let's have a look at that now. Let's see what that looks like. So what I've done is I've taken a, a bit of a screen capture um, from that, that that inspiration that we've just seen. And I'm just going to have a look now and I'm just going to sort of go through um, the various elements that I think that we can carry across through to our application. So um, let's just start revealing some of these. So we've got the logo. Um, we're definitely going to need a logo. Um, very centrally placed. It's perfect for us. The, the search icon is perfect. It's going to be a button that we're going to click on. So what I think will happen there is that we'll click the search icon. We'll show like a search screen. Um, we can then do, do a YouTube search. And as soon as you hit search, the, the screen will then disappear. And then it will show the results. I think that kind of makes sense. We're kind of used to doing that in, in using mobile applications. Um, across the top here, we've got the peels. Um, in this particular design, I'm kind of wondering what we could use those for. But um, it really depends on the kind of how we can and interact with the, the the data feed that we need to get into our application so we'll have a look and see how that's going to play out for us but I think we can use them for something um, the thumbnail image we're definitely we're going to need to want to show a thumbnail of the video uh, YouTube um, has all of these thumbnails so why not show them uh, let's have a look further oh, and then we've got um, the video title as I mentioned previously, when we was looking at actually the design, they they truncated the the title there. I think that's fine. I think that's some um, that's okay to do here because they're trying to provide a, a, a kind of a simplified view. So I think that's going to work for us. What else have we got? We've got the the author and the view count um, and and the publish date. I think that's pretty common in this type of application. So I think we can do that as well. And I notice here that they've got the duration. So what they've kind of got here is they've actually got the duration, which is overlaid with the thumbnail. So a little bit more advanced uh, concept that we can introduce into our application, which shouldn't be too difficult for us to do. And then we've got the the avatar there on the left hand side. So um, yeah, absolutely. Let's let's um let's uh, put the author's avatar in there. So um so I think that's um pretty pretty close to um, to, to to what we're looking for. So let's then move across to the right hand side. Let me just hide this. So I'm just going to reveal all here um, so we can walk through it. So on the right here, we've got the playable video. So you would click on here. The thumbnail will take us through to this particular screen, which is the, which I call the video detail screen. So we've got the playable video, uh, which is in view, um, which is fine, which is what we'd expect to happen. We've got the full title, which I think is important to show. And then we've got some further details there about the, the actual video itself, how many views it's got, kind of when it was published. Um, it's got some hashtags there. I'm not particularly sure that we'd want to use the hashtags for anything. Uh, I think we'll skip some of these details here because this is kind of like the extended interaction that we're not really interested in. Although I quite like the, the layout of this. Um, this piece of text here is good. It says up next. I mean, we're, we're probably not going to have a playlist, but we're going to want to see um, other content from that particular author. So we can put a bit of text in there to to describe exactly what those those videos are. Then we've got the thumbnail image. Um, this is a slightly um, more sort of squarer sort of thumbnail image. Um, so so we can put our, our thumbnail in there and we can we can size that up. And then we've got some further sort of sort of full content here. And then we've got the uh, the author uh, the author's name and 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 how many views. So yes, definitely, I think this is a, it's an ideal sort of detail page. Now in our in our kind of inspiration that we kind of looked at, just flicking back here, there wasn't really any example of a search screen, but we'll come up with some think um, in, in, in the actual designer that will we'll cover that sort of use case. So, um, so yeah, so I think that's some um, pretty close to what we're looking at. I think what I'll do now is I'll take this particular, this sort of design here on the left hand side and we'll start deconstructing it. We'll start to get an, an idea to kind of how we can take all of these elements out, how they can be potentially uh, sort of reconstructed in the UI using some, some really important concepts um, in using Flutterflow, which is our, our tool of choice here, our, tool, our no code design tool. And everything you're going to learn there is going to really help you and translate through to using those sort of features uh, in Flutterflow. So let's move over to that deconstruction now. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to break down the screen into more manageable chunks. So on the left hand side there, we've got the design, the inspiration that we've discovered that we really like the look of. And we're going to kind of see how that translates when we start to break all of the sections up into more manageable pieces. So let's have a quick look at the left hand side. Let's just see what that is kind of showing us. So we can see here the app bar. We're not going to worry about this sort of section up here because we know that that's going to translate into our mobile application as, as, a, as a standard set of, um, of controls. But um, when we come to the actual data that's actually being presented in this particular screen, we, we, we've got some interesting parts. So the first bit is here is this particular section here seems to be quite self-contained it's a row it has some items inside it and then with inside each of these particular um, sort of items you then got further information that's actually inside of it so we're going to see how that looks in a minute on on the right hand side we then got a, a separate section again which is the thumbnail image um and we've also got a bit of a another part of that image there which is like a um is the duration of the, of the video so there's kind of two bits there and then just this little bit down here we can see that we've kind of got we've got the avatar and we've then got another sort of block of content here one is the title and one is some additional information regarding the video but the key thing to point out here is that um, each parts of this is quite separated so let's see how that looks when it comes to the right hand side to the wireframe that we're going to kind of construct and the good thing about this particular section on the right hand side is that by once we've kind of gone through this that you you will get a good idea of how that will likely translate into Flutterflow which is the no code design tool that we're going to use so what we're going to do is we're going to look at um, all of the containers that's going to hold these design elements on the right hand side. So the first one we're going to look at is this one just here. Let me just uh, click over here and click there. And this should give us this view. So what we're looking at here in the center of our page, because this is our page on the right hand side, we're looking at a column. Now in Flutterflow, a column is really just a container of other design elements. So for example, on the left hand side here, you can see we kind of got the thumbnail image. And then just below that, we've kind of got another block of content. And um, once that's moved over to the column, we'll see it all stacked up. And so we're going to show you what that looks like when we kind of put the, we, we put that view on. So let's just, um, Let's show you that now. So let's uh, let's just hide the detail there. So we, we know this is a column container and everything's gonna be vertically stacked. What we're gonna show you now is the row. So this row um, on the left-hand side is the pills, is this particular area here. And what I've done is I just showed you what it looks like as a as a parent container, which is the row. So with a row, everything is horizontally stacked instead of vertically stacked like our column. So we can see that here. We've kind of got this item here, this item here, this item here. They're all positioned horizontally. So this is what this row is going to be doing for us. We're going to see what that looks like now. If I just remove the detail there, we can then have a look at the peels. So the pills themselves are really just each and every one of these. As you can see here, um, they're represented by a container. Now with inside Flutterflow, a container is like a, it, it is a styled element that you can put like a background on borders and all that kind of stuff. But the great thing about a container is you can put stuff inside it as well. So in the example here on the left hand side, you can see we've got some pieces of text. So just think of it as, as a container that can hold that text in this instance. So let's move on a little bit more and let's look at what's below. So this particular area here is just think of the list view as again another vertically um, stackable um, con container so so anything that we put into a list view in this instance would again will be vertically stacked but list views can be horizontal as well but just in this example it is actually in, in a vertical stack so what we're going to do here is we're going to show you what the left hand side will look like in the list view so let's just let's just uh, shut down the uh, the the arrows there, which we don't want to see. Let's have a look at what we can put in there. So for starters, we're going to put a, a column in. So as we can see here on the left, let me just uh, draw this for you here. So this is our column, which is going to be again vertically stacked, and inside this column, we are going to consider this. Uh, content to go into that column so we know that we're going to uh, we're going to put the image in there and we know that we're going to put this row of detail 
just down here okay so let's see what that actually looks like when we represent that on, on on here so let's have a look at that let's have a look at what the thumbnail image will look like so there it goes it's positioned it's just an image with inside that column vertically stacked and then we're also then going to put the next row in because we can see actually that in from a row perspective um, here we know that we've got an item just here we have then got another item just here so we'll represent what that looks like from the avatar. So we'll just put that in view. So let me just uh, select over here. Let's put the, the avatar in. There it is. So that's positioned to the left-hand side of the row. If we then were to then draw another column um, and we were to put that inside here, that's exactly what we're going to show here by, by putting that in. So um, what we're going to do inside the row, we're now going to put another column in. So with inside a column, as we know, because it, everything is vertically stacked, anything we put inside it is going to be on top of each other. So let's see what that looks like as well. So there is um, a, uh, a a row that we've put in there. So that's going to be the first part of that row. Then we're inside that row. We have then got two pieces of text. So just think of it like this is that we're we're kind of building up our ui by creating these kind of containers and then we're putting our design elements in there to to make up the design and, the, and to shape up the way that the ui is going to look the good thing about this is we're going to be able to move this over to flutterflow and you're going to kind of get a sense to how the kind of columns and the rows and the containers all work and primarily in in flutterflow that's pretty well where you're going to be spending most of your time is working with these kind of containers that's going to contain other things so without further ado, let's let's now take what we've got here. Let's start with a brand new project in Flutterflow. Let's start creating our mobile app. Let's start creating some of these design elements in there. And you'll start to get a really good feel to kind of how the design will translate to the to the inspiration that we've got here on the left hand side. So let's move over to the next video.